Yo, what is good? We're back with another video. Today we're going to be going over how SMT can be used as a guide in the markets. Today I took a trade on the ES based off of SMT and purely SMT and quarterly theory, but we're going to go over how you can use SMT to your advantage in the markets to understand where we are going. So right here at this green candle on ES and right here on NQ is market open. Right. What do you notice? NQ comes the entire way down here to make a lower low. ES is sitting up here. Right. So right here at this low, we form an SMT. Right here on the NQ, we form an SMT. Now, I'm not taking it purely based off of that. But if I take a look over here at the ES, what do we notice? We notice that this fair value gap right here has held all this entire time. Now we have a bullish SMT. Okay, so we have a bullish SMT and if we pull up quarterly theory uh quarterly theory whoa, what the hell? Let's just take all of this off. Okay. Quarterly theory, what do we see here? We see 4.30 is the end of Q4 of London. So uh, we go down. Q1 in New York is a continuation of the previous quarter. So we have X, A, M, D. So what do we notice here? We continue down. So that's X. Here it is a clear accumulation. And then M. What happens during manipulation if you watched my SMT divergence video? SMTs can be used as what? Manipulation. We form an SMT at this low inside of a PD array. As soon as I see this candle close back within this fair value gap, I mark it in on this candle. I got filled somewhere down here. <coughs> and then my risk was pretty much right there. Two points, a two point risk. And I uh, once we took this high, I moved my stop right here. So I de-risked completely and was three points in profit. And then when we had this expansion, I killed the trade for, I think it was like seven points. I think I'm up like three or 400. So right there, just purely based off of this SMT and quarterly theory within a bullish PD array. Also, if we turn these boxes on, we see Asia, London takes out Asia low, uh, New York reversal of London session. So uh, London was bearish. New York is bull bullish, but it would be reversal of the previous um, session. So right there, based off of SMT, fair value gap, quarterly theory, boom. It is as simple as that. I wanted to see these highs and I do think that we get up there, but now it's lunch and I'm not gonna trade now. I did take another trade right here. I took a long here, and as soon as we hit 11.30, I killed it because I'm done trading at 11.30. I got out of that for, uh, let's go to the one minute. I got filled, wait. I got filled on this fair value gap on that change in the state of delivery on this candle right here at 18.50, and I killed it right here at 11.30. 30 something right here so i killed it up here i'm not i'm not breaking my rules i'm done at 11 30 because i said i'm going to be done at 11 30 from now on i don't like trading after and if i miss this move higher to these highs it is what it is i'm not gonna get uh i wouldn't say greedy but i'm not gonna sit through something that i said i wouldn't sit through which is lunch right we have smt here expansion higher we should continue we also have a 15 minute unicorn i almost took a long one but i did not so that was the one two trades that i took i took one trade on a different account and then i took this trade on trading view but yeah those were the two trades so using smt as your guide i have been putting SMT. That's why I haven't been sharing my executions as much anymore because I'm trying to get the best executions possible before I come back on YouTube. So 
once I come back to sharing all of my executions, I should be, I should be very, uh, I should be executing very well. So I'm focusing a lot on SMTs. Uh, there's people in the discord that are also focusing on SMTs. So yeah, if you're not in the free discord, go join it. It is linked down below, but that is pretty much all I have for you. That trade right there based off of this fit, uh, this hourly technically SMT, right? We take out an hourly swing low. I was not worried about these imbalances. Why? Because we have a bullish SMT bullish SMT. will just run through all these bearish for value gaps and go to the next high, which is right here. That's why I'm expecting it. So right here is what I expect. And if we get there today, I don't know. I'm not going to say we will for sure, but that's what I expect. Other than that, guys, I hope you guys had a good trading day. Uh, have a good rest of your week. Trade smart. And yeah, I will see you guys in another video. Peace.